Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to handle null pointer exception. So, what is null pointer exception? So, let's suppose I am returning some object that is called null, and after that, I am setting some field on that object. So, because the object is null, I will not be able to set any field there. So, on that time, I will get a null pointer exception. So, in this video, I will let you know how to handle a null pointer exception. So let's start. I have created a demo project. Here I have two packages, one is entity and one is test. In entity, I have a demo entity class. Here I have two fields, name and ID. And corresponding that getters and setters I have. If you come to the test package, here I have a demo application where I am going to create an object of demo entity class right so let's create object first demo entity demo entity new okay so the object is created now set some id here so demo entity dot set id let's suppose uh, one two three four okay so let's uh, demo entity which will create a null pointer exception then we will solve it equals to let's suppose uh, some method uh, display zero method okay so method is created now I set ID now I have to set name so demo entity dot set name so means uh, let's suppose test now let's run this project yeah we got exception in thread main java dot blank dot null pointer exception right so first of all if you are getting a null pointer exception your first step will be to find the root cause like from where you are getting this null pointer exception right so if you come here let me debug this application then we will be able to find the root cause right Reverse this Java application. Okay. So at six here I have set ID now I'm calling this display method. Take a breakpoint here. I'm calling this method. Now go ahead and here okay so here i am returning null correct here i am returning null okay now it will throw a null pointer exception right because this object got null right it's null and i am trying to set some values on null so it will throw null pointer exception So we got the root cause right because from here we are returning null that's why this object is null and after that I am trying to set some fields to the null object that's why I am getting null pointer exception now we will fix how to fix null pointer exception so the first step is to find the root cause okay we got the root cause now the second step is second step is 
whenever you are doing any operation with your object after that just check the object is null or not so if null is not equal to this object right then You can copy and paste this thing here. You can set the attribute in this if block. So here I am checking if null is not equal to demo entity. If this condition is true, then I am going to add the attributes. If this condition is false, then else provide some message. Else provide some message object return by method display is null, right? Now, now run this program. We are not getting null pointer exception, right? So, what we learn in this tutorial? First of all, whenever if you are getting a null pointer exception, your first step will be to find the root cause. Now, the second step is whenever if you are getting any object, if you are getting any object, you can see here, here, right? I am calling display method and from this method method is returning null null so whenever if you are getting any object and you want to set any attributes in that object before that you have to check the null if null is not equal to if null is not equal to demo entity if object is not null then you can set the attribute and then go ahead if object is null, then this condition will be false. It will come to the else part and it will provide you a message object written by method display is null. I hope you understood the concept of null pointer exception. In the next video we will cover class not found exception. Thank you.